Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I was scrolling through the internet uh, looking for some things with a friend of mine the other day and uh, I came across this which is a video by I think it's Galactic VR and basically he has done a kind of a starting tutorial for people uh, who want to play on Bluebird, which is awesome. I appreciate somebody from the community kind of caring enough to, to want to do that. Uh, the thing is, there's a couple of things that he got, uh, he got wrong, <laughs> which is fine. Um, I don't know how new he is. He, I think in the video he says he's only been playing for a short amount of time. Um, so there's a couple of things that uh, he probably goes, yeah, that makes sense, but isn't 100% accurate. So what I'm wanting to do today is go through, watch his video uh, and and kind of correct a couple of things that aren't 100%. But I, uh, I like the gusto of this kid. He's, he's done a good job. Uh, the editing's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I will mention, um, if you are watching this Galactic VR, a couple of things I will recommend to you. Uh, there are a couple of mistakes in your title. Pelican is P-A-L. Pelican is P-E-L. Uh, so you might want to change the spelling of that. And Bluebird RP is all one word. It's not three separate words. Uh, so I'd say fix those two things in your title and you're probably going to get even more viewers. Not that he really needs it. He's got like 25 subscribers and this video has got about a thousand views. Um, so well done on that. If you guys haven't, make sure you go comment on this video saying that he did a good job and like it because uh, he did great. Uh, but we're going to go through and just correct a couple of things that aren't 100%. Yo, what's up guys? Galactic VR here. I like Galactic I know VR. This is, uh, not VR. But, it's not uh, VR. Anyways. Um, so I'm just going to be showing, I've been liking uh, Bluebird recently and I'm just going to be Excellent. showing you guys how to set up a character and how to pretty much just the basics of Bluebird. So, oh man, how to do Bluebird the right way and how to play it the right way and get almost a lot of money and stuff. So I'm just going to time slap through this. You can just set up your character, make sure it looks smart, make sure it doesn't look like a fucking wanker. Otherwise that can be very bad and you will get shot for that. So a couple of points there. Um... At the start, he said, uh, you know, how to play it, make sure you get a lot of money. Um, with roleplay, it's not necessarily about getting a lot of money. I I actually, at some point, want to set up, like, a, a homeless character. Uh, someone who just doesn't have money. I think that would be really interesting to see how you can progress uh, through RP by basically not doing anything money-related. The other thing is, he said, make sure you, uh, you look smart. Um, don't think that's necessarily the right wording, but I, I know what he's going for. Basically, what he's trying to say is make sure you don't look like a default Danny. And effectively, what he's saying about you'll get shot. I think I think that's also a bit extreme. Uh, we've had a chat about that as a community. You know, we want to make sure that the experience for new people is good. But what happens is somebody sees someone dressed up as a default Danny, and they go, "Okay, this person isn't bothering to try." Uh, because basically, the first thing you're greeted with when you join the server is a big number one. Now, big number one, all you gotta do is walk to it, and then it says press E, press E, and you change your appearance. It's literally the first thing you do when the when you join the server. And so, if you don't do the that thing, for the most part, it's easy to assume that you don't give a shit, and that's not okay. We've we've set up this kind of like tutorial room to help you have a good experience and to help other people around you have a good experience. So you know they're not having to constantly explain to people, hey, you should change your appearance, you should get your microphone set up, you should do all these other things. So this tutorial stuff that he's going through now, very important. He's doing a great job letting you know, don't look like a dickhead. <laughs> I think that's great. Um, with the menu here, he's doing the torso at the moment. Um, you can see that sometimes with the arms, stuff was clipping through. Um, I always recommend doing the torso and the, the shirts and everything first. And then once you're happy with it, you'll see clipping on the arms. Just change the arms over and that will uh, that will allow you to make sure that the, the skin is not clipping through the clothes. He also very briefly puts on a bulletproof vest. My recommendation is don't do that. In city, if a police officer sees you with a bulletproof vest walking around, they can and will arrest you because it is illegal to wear uh, bulletproof vests in Australia, um, just walking around in them. So they can uh, they can arrest you for that. So effectively, you're just adding to the uh, I don't know what I'm doing vibe by putting that on. Um, so I recommend don't do that. Make sure you have a body cam because if your PC is capable to record, because that can come in. Uh very much help if uh, you get pulled over by the police or something. I'm going to go more detail into that. But the reason that he said that is basically if you get pulled up by the police for something in game and they say, 
you did this, you did that, so on and so forth. You can, if you have a body camera in game and you're recording on your PC, you can use that PC recording as evidence in game. Uh, but if you do not have a body cam on, you can't because it's like, how did you get that recording if you're not wearing a camera? And it's like, oh, it was on my phone. You didn't have your phone out, did you? And like that shows in the recording, people don't pull up their phone. If you do, if you're staying there in game and something's happening, you pull up your phone, sure, you can use that recording, but you need to have something visually in game saying, I am recording for that to be able to be used as evidence. Now, that is only in an RP set. So you can only use um, that is evidence in RP uh, if you have some form of camera. However, if you have recording software on your PC and something happens where potentially somebody's breaking a rule or something along those lines where you need to provide that to the admins, you don't need a body cam for that. You are just providing evidence to us of somebody doing the wrong thing does not require a body cam uh, because that is entirely out of role play. Um, so just something to keep in mind. Our names and stuff. So, set up, yeah, identity. Okay, mm -hmm. so just hit E on that, and then it will pick set up identity, hit new identity, and Perfect. just put your name and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to skip through this. Put your first and last name here. It'll prompt you to do so anyway if you try and do just the first name. Uh, he's also left the address blank. I would recommend doing that the first time you join. Later on, you can change the address if you want. Okay, and now we're just going to set up uh, your voice, which is pretty easy. You just got to go yep. into settings. Uh, yeah, I'm bugging out for a second. So in this, he goes through he goes through and shows you how to do the mic stuff. Um, it all says it on screen as you're going through as well, which is great. Um, always have push the talk. Do not have open mic. The push the talk button is N as standard. Um, I always recommend moving it from N to a mouse button. Uh, once you move it to a mouse button, it kind of frees up your left hand a little bit because you've got so many button presses that you're having to do with your left hand anyway, you might as well have that one on your thumb. That's just my recommendation. You don't have to do it. You can pick another button if you like. Um, picking other buttons can be dangerous because we have a lot of key binds on lots of different buttons in, in game because there's so many things that you can do. But uh, yeah, I know the mouse buttons don't have any other key binds. Which is pretty straightforward, just like not to RDM and stuff. So yeah. yeah. This is pretty, pretty easy. Um, if you can't figure this out, roleplay might not be for you. <laughs> a lot of times it even highlights the right answer for you. So pretty straightforward. But uh, when you read through it, just remember, we put that in there for a reason. So if you do something that's in the, uh, the test um, and you do the wrong thing in game, we know you've done the test. Everyone has to do the test. You physically can't get out oh, unless so you do. We're in so. Which is actually Polito. So he just said that uh, there he's in Bendigo, which is actually Polito. So in game we've changed over a couple of names. So Melbourne is the main city. Bendigo is up where Polito is. If somebody around you doesn't remember that and accidentally says Polito rather than Bendigo, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's you know they they are using the knowledge they have. They're not going to know that. You can go. Oh, you know, Polito actually got changed. Uh, to Bendigo like years back, but it like it wouldn't really make the news, so you might not have heard about it. But uh, yeah, it's actually Bendigo up there, and they go, "Oh, okay." And like you can kind of role play that out. But I, I I don't like when people are like, "Oh, he just broke character and called it Polito." It's like no, no, no. They, they, they as a character and a person don't know what that's called, so that's fine. Just uh, you can remind them if you know about it. And uh, like I I get them around the wrong way sometimes. I forget about it. So yep, yeah, uh, we're we're gonna go over to an ATM. We're just gonna grab a bike. Bike. The ATM for this is like almost directly across so the street. We can, uh, so now <laughs> I don't know why you can't. ATM, we can check out cash and we got five k cash. But if you hit Alt and the those eyeball comes up. So left Alt. Leave. Yep. So left Alt brings up the third eye, which is effectively means when you are looking at something, when you have the middle of your screen looking at something, it may have a function. So for ATMs, it brings up the ability to, to use the ATM. For not all, but a lot of the chairs, it'll bring up the ability to sit on the chair. Remember, with the chairs, wherever your third eye is looking is where you will sit. So if you look at the back of the chair, you will sit on the back of the chair. But if you look at the, the bum of the chair, you'll, you'll sit there. So. And we have 45,000, which means we have in total about 50 grand. So we're just going to try and... It is a 50 grand start. Car, which shouldn't be too hard. 
Uh, sometimes you do have to hit page down sometimes to unlock the car. That's how you lock and unlock vehicles in this game. So he spoke about pressing page down. Yes, when you own a vehicle, uh, if you want to lock or unlock your car, uh, you walk up next to it and you press page down. So it'll, it'll either lock or unlock. You can also use that third eye to do so. That's a newer feature that he might not have uh, had when he was recording this, um, but you can look at it and you can lock and unlock it and you can open the boot and do other things. What I don't agree with is he was saying when you walk up to a local car like this, if for whatever reason the door is locked, just press page down and get in. Don't. There's a chance you'll get banned for that. Um, that is exploiting part of the script of this. Uh, it's something that we're going to work on trying to remove. Basically, the idea is you're walking up to the car and then you're pressing the unlock button. But why would you have the keys for a car you don't own? It doesn't make any sense. So if we find people doing that, uh, there's a chance you'll get a yellow or a red car. You may be removed for it. So do not do that. Big no-no. Um, I understand where he's coming from because he's like, oh, man, this car's locked. I'll just unlock it. It doesn't make any sense. Don't do it. Uh, yeah, I didn't have to. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to go down. So, yep, <clears throat> I'm just going to, I'll tell you, I'll uh, come back when I'm there. So he's heading all the way down. In Bendigo, there is a Vic Roads. Uh, don't do what he's doing. Go to the Vic Roads because that has uh, your driving test. It is also now effectively a tutorial. Um, the driving test very specifically up north in Polito or Bendigo, um, that very specific driving test we have changed so that it will give you essentially a tutorial around the city. Um, and it'll drop you off in a really nice location so you can continue your RP. It means that you'll have your driver's license by the end of it, which is super helpful. Um, and I think it drops you kind of near where you can buy yourself a car as well. So it's just the better way to do it. Effectively, when you first fly in, you've got the numbers on your screen, one, two, three, four, do all of that, then go straight from there to Vic Roads, do the test and that was effectively your full tutorial on how to play bluebird you can do it all in game so we're here and we're going to be getting a, a car called the rumpo which it can hold a lot and this is going to be used for when we go read and then i do like that he tries to park uh, properly read and then pretty much uh, it's just for transporting it we're also it's not great he's not inside the line but line, he tried which does take he a tried. lot of time but on the upside you get a lot of money so yeah the money side he's right Getting a Rumpo Trail, which is the one these after specifically. A Rumpo Trail is good. It has a lot of boot space. It can do off-road. We have a script that means that it's harder for vehicles to drive off-road if they are not an off-road car. So it's kind of a really good all-rounder. It's not very fast, obviously, because it's a big van. But uh, yeah, if you're doing okay, so the job, it's good. ATM that's right there. You're welcome. So all cars are bought with cash at this dealership. There is a player run dealership you can go to and they will uh, use your bank account instead of uh, cash. There it is, Rumpo Trail. Alright, and yep, we got it. That's Boom. beautiful. Okay, so yep, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I did. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and mm -hmm. uh, peace out. Uh, peace out, bud. Alright, so... Look, great video. As I said, a couple of things that are slightly inaccurate, but uh, for the most part, it, it gets you into the idea of what to do with the Bluebird server. So thank you. Make sure you guys, I know you, like we've effectively just watched the video here. I'll put a link to this video in my description. I really hope that you go over there, give it a like, maybe even a comment on it. It's, it's great. Um, I would be interested to see if he'd be interested in redoing this intro with uh, some updates and... Uh, some corrections <laughs> so yes my main overall points are you can do effectively two full tutorials now in game the one two three four section at the start and then going to vic roads up north where you spawn um and doing your driving test all of that should get you very well prepared to play in bluebird i highly recommend pressing f3 when you're in game it'll show you all the key binds that's very important and i think that's something he potentially should include in a video if he was to redo it uh, key binds are really important because they will tell you how to do everything basically and if you know key binds then effectively you've got that extra knowledge 
um, to be able to do stuff and not be standing there going, how the hell does this thing work? <clears throat> so that's going to help you out a lot. Uh, F3 has also got all the community guidelines. Really important to read those because as a new player, I know it's a lot of text. I get that. I understand. But if you're breaking those rules, we're going to have to do something about it. So make sure that you read the community guidelines. You're up to date with that. And then you basically shouldn't have any issues. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you go like and potentially subscribe over uh, at Galactic VR. Feel free to do the same here. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna react to this video as well. We're gonna do that in the in the near future. If uh, if you guys like this one, we'll do another one. All right. See ya.